Hello, uh, this talk would be on radiology for the ICU. Uh, the slides I'm going to show would be more of a show and tell where you will try to tell and I will show. We will go through mainly normal anatomy of chest x-ray, CT, chest, CT abdomen and brain. What we are going to do is demonstrate common pathologies encountered in chest x-ray, CT chest, CT abdomen and CT brain. As I mentioned, this is radiology for the intensivist. So we will not be going into very a lot of details of radiology, but more of the clinical application of radiology in ICU. Case one, here you have an 18 year old basketball player who is brought to the emergency room with sudden onset of chest pain while playing the game. This is his x-ray. Look at it. Do you have a diagnosis? Now, when you read an x-ray, you have to do it in a very systematic manner. You can have your own systematic way of doing it, but you need to have a systematic order. The way that most intensivists do it is they make sure that they identify the patient, make sure it's a their patient's x-ray because in, in an ICU, busy ICU, you'll have so many x-rays lying around. You'll be given so many x-rays to look at. So before you comment on any x-ray and take an action on it, make sure that it's your patient's x-ray. Once you know it's your patient's x-ray, look at the quality of the x-ray. The quality of the x-ray, you look at four important points. One is positioning. Is the patient, has the patient been positioned well? Now, if the patient has been positioned well, the, the clavicles would be, the ends of the clavicles, the medial end of the clavicles will be equidistant from the spinous process of the vertebra and the scapula will be away from the lung fields. That's position. Second is you are looking at inspiration. Have you ha taken an x-ray with full inspiration? If it is a full inspired x-ray, you will see at least five to six ribs anteriorly, nine to 10 ribs posteriorly. The third will be exposure. When you look at the exposure, you're looking at the x-ray to see how many vertebrae you can see. If it's a well exposed x-ray, you can see the vertebrae, just barely see the x-ray through the cardiac shadow. Thank you.